very good afternoon and I'm back here again for another Great Yarmouth Waterways update vlog so it's been over two months since I last did the Great Yarmouth Waterways update vlog and I've, I literally just came to see how it was all doing and that it's actually a really beautiful day here in Great Yarmouth today I'm actually going to be showing you if they've done any improvements to the waterways itself but like I said I did do a lot of moaning and groaning like you know in the previous update video where where in July I actually just moaned about the whole place. But it's actually alright actually, the place, it's not too bad the water racing from last time. It's actually quite warm here today in Yarmouth actually. I'm actually going to show you some really nice, yeah it's a nice little water race and I hope they can get it back to its glory in the next two years or so. Like it's autumn now and like you know by this time next year everyone's going to like the whole water race is going to be up to date so yeah I'll see you in a bit so basically here I'm now on one of the bridges you get some really nice views of the water race you can see here look how nice it is they could do lots and lots of improvements to this water race like I said in July so literally you can see it's actually really nice it'd be nice if it was a little bit further a little bit further down the beach Instead of, instead of hearing these noisy vehicles, transport going past, and yeah. Like I said, you can go on some of the other bridges here as well. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad waterways. But, like I said, this does need improving, to be honest, because it's took away the good old days away, and it's just such a shame that the children come here today can't really remember much about the Great Yarmouth Waterways. But all I remember is there used to be little boats that went round here, and like you know, yeah, it's really nice. But like I said, I hope we, I hope this waterways can go back to its former glory in the next few years. Now the only thing that makes me happy about the waterways is this little benching area over here, as you can see, in right. In front of me right now, it's a really nice little area. You can just come here, sit down, and watch the vehicles go by and that. But yeah, like I said, it's a really nice area for your family. If you want some peace and quiet, you can come sit around this area also. Uh, there's a little frog pond just behind those trees there, but it's not really good, unfortunately. As last time I saw, lots of rubbish being dumped in there. Uh, like I said, there's some two benches in there, like very special benches, just dedicated to people. It's just special memories on those ones there. And like I said, it's nice, nice area. But like I said, it does need improvement. Especially the lights as well. The light, I don't think the lights seem to work anymore, as they are really, really old. But you know, one day this water race will come back to life, like back in the good old days but I literally remember coming here as a kid and it used to be lovely back then back in the 2000s and until the 2010s it's now this is what the waterways of today looks like for the new children but anyway we're gonna head a little bit further down I'll show you the frog pond in a minute now this bit here now this is where the, they do the um, moral boat clubs. Um, it was down here today, earlier on when I walked down here in the morning and there were boats coming. As you can see there's a little barrier that's blocked this way of the bridge. So they literally have a model boat club and they use all of this space up round here. But my only concern is there's no ducks down here. There's not no ducks down here, it's just seagulls and that. It would be really nice if they did have some ducks down here. Oh, there they are, there's some ducks down there. You'll probably see them in the distance, I'll zoom in on that. Yeah, you can just see them just over there. And yeah, like you know, it's a... They could probably put some... They could put a boat ride down here. Just put a few boats. But this is the deep water... This is the deep bit of the waterway, so... There she is, there'll be no good place for boats over here. So, we'll make our way to the end of the water race.
Now as you just saw in the footage, there's actually a little hut that is stranded on the, on the other side of the waterways and it literally just makes it a bit sad seeing all those plants growing in front of it. Like you know, this waterway does really need to come back to life and it just feels so sad when you actually see the actual huts on the middle being stranded and that. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to probably say this all day, it does need improving. But you know, it's, it's not nice to see the waterways how it is today. It would be nice if we did bring back, if they bring back the good old waterways that we had back in them days. When my parents were younger, it was all beautiful and lovely in the summertime and that. And yeah, so, yeah, got to make, I'm now going to make my way over to the boating lake, which is just not far away, it's just a minute walk from here, so I'll see you when we get to the boating lake. Now what you see in front of you is the old boating lake. Now this boating lake opened in 1928 and it's still it's still one of the boating lakes in the country and there's a few more in the country that I can't think of but this is this used to be absolutely fantastic in the summer and this is what it looks like today. It's sad to be honest because like I said in July it's quite sad. Uh, I think there's a little bit of work that's gone that's been taking place. I've actually like cut a bit of the bushes off and that. Uh, they've done some planting, which is the best thing. Like I said, good improvements going on so far, but like I said, they've got to tidy the boat and lake up, they've got to do the um, actual plants, they've got to get rid of the plants. And just here is the old cafe that used to be there. It used to be really nice, but it'd be nice if they did open this cafe back up again. And you know, lots of people, lots of people won't come down here if it's like this. People won't bother. They'll think it's not one of the best things to go on the seafront. This is why the north end of the seafront is quiet compared to the other end of the seafront. But it'd be nice if we did get, like you know, some good heritage back here this is a heritage walk park and you know remember the boats that used to go around here and that and if they did bring it back it'd be fantastically well fantastic and it'd be fantastic for everyone to come have a look and like I said this used to be a child of memory which is now ruined there's, there's some graffiti you can see on that building over there there's a there's a few stuff that needs to come back but like I said it will take a bit of time to fill that water up and yeah it's I hope they can do this back in two years from now and I hope this waterways can come back to life Well, I hope you've enjoyed this um, short update vlog from the um, Great Yarmouth Waterway vlog. And it, it's alright to be honest the waterways, but like I said, improvements are needed. And if when this waterway has come back, it's going to absolutely be fantastic. It's going to have the boats back there again. It's going to have, I don't know what they're going to do with that calf on the middle of the boat and lake itself, but you know, you just have to wait and see what's actually going to be happening. But like I said, make sure you check out the July Waterways Update vlog. This is the second vlog of 2017, and I think this is going to be the last one as well. And next year I'm going to do three updates. I'm going to do one in Easter, one, one in summer, and one in autumn to next year. So make sure you do check out those uh, videos. That will be online next year or so. And yeah, so that's it. I think I'm going to end it here. Um, make sure you subscribe to Brampton Productions and... Make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you check out the other videos. We had a Minecraft video that went online the other day. And of course, Joyland a few weeks ago. And check out all the other videos here on Banfield Productions. 
that's it. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.